Can you outwork a bad diet? Well, we're gonna be putting that question to the test today and covering all the best tips and tricks and practices for living a healthy lifestyle consistently. I'm Drew Manning from fit to fat to fit and if you're interested in learning more about how to live a healthy lifestyle consistently or about mindset, head over to fit to fat to fit.com to check out all of my programs and content that will help you with just that. So here's the biggest thing. When I did fit to fat to fit, I put on 75 pounds in six months. I got really fat, right? I went to 8.5% body fat to 32% body fat in six months. It was crazy. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. The journey back to fit was way more challenging than I ever thought it would be. And it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Uh, but one of the biggest lessons I learned was, and that I showed people, was the power of nutrition. So the first 30 days, I skipped exercise completely, and all I did was change my diet. I went from 5,000 calories of processed junk food to 2,000 calories of real whole food, and within 30 days, without any exercise, I lost 19 pounds. Uh, all my blood work went back to normal levels, so all in, in the green after those 30 days of just changing my diet, and my testosterone levels more than doubled by just changing my diet. And so a lot of people think it, they can outwork a bad diet they, if they just work out really hard, if they do you know, long amounts of cardio or like P90X twice a day, though it doesn't matter what they eat. For some people, they can get away with that. That's a small minority of the population. But for most people, I'll be totally honest with you, the key is more so nutrition than exercise. And I'll even add more to that. I'll say stress management and sleep plus nutrition that right there is really the key to seeing results if you are really looking to change your body composition and change your lifestyle. Exercise, I'll be honest with you, is a small piece of the puzzle. It does help out. Um, it's not gonna hurt you by any means, but when it actually comes to seeing results, exercise is a smaller piece of the puzzle than you may think. And so a couple uh, tips and tricks that I would recommend for you to stay healthy and live a healthy lifestyle is to, one, focus on real whole foods. So stay on the outside of the grocery store, right? Don't go down the cereal aisle and get all the processed junk food, even though it's cheaper and more convenient. And I'll be honest with you, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch tastes really, really good and Mountain Dew tastes really good. I get it, it's delicious, but those are the types of foods you wanna avoid 90% of the time. Maybe 10% every now and then you have those foods, uh, but that's gonna be the key. The other thing is sleep, taking care of your sleep. I like this quote or this, this, um, this way of thinking sleep like you're getting paid to do it. Like if someone paid you a full-time salary to sleep as efficiently as possible and as best as you can, you'd probably change up your routine at night uh, and during the day so that you could get paid top dollar to sleep as most efficiently as possible. So change up your, your habits at nighttime. So stay away from screens, you know, an hour or two before bed. Um, you know, stop any caffeine intake uh, before noon. Um, there's all kinds of tips and tricks you can do to have more optimal sleep and then manage your stress. I know it sounds easy, but you know, it may be going for a walk every day, getting some sunshine every day, uh, meditating, spending time with family or loved ones, um, uh, staying active, uh, you know, playing sports or just uh, spending time with your kids can lower stress levels. So those three things right there are going to be the most important things you could do for your overall health and even body composition, nutrition, sleep, and stress management, and exercise, do something that you love to do that doesn't feel like a punishment, uh, but challenge yourself, and then you'll, I, I promise you the results will come. One last tip I'd recommend is the quality of your food. Um, what, I would rec what I do, and obviously this is gonna be budget dependent for each person, if you can afford the grass-fed, grass-finished beef, the free-range chicken, the uh, you know, antibiotic-free and hormone-free meat, um, wild-caught you know, seafood, uh, organic uh, fruits and vegetables, then, then by all means invest in your health and pay the extra dollar or two for those things because those are going to pay big dividends on you know, phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals and micronutrients that your body actually needs to stay healthy. Um, that's just another way you could take your, your health uh, to a, a one level up. And I think that is definitely worth investing in and maybe even supplements as well. That's an investment in your health. So for more information, you guys, more help, head over to fit2fit2fit.com. Check out my programs. 
uh, everything you need from uh, physical uh, help with meal plans, recipes, supplements, exercises, those kinds of things, but also mindset tips and tricks. Um, head over to fit to fit You'll find all of it. But I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below, and we'll see you guys next time.